I'm over here right now, Tay Tay First Church from Nazarene with uh, Michael Turner on battery. What's up, First Church? Kung Pao Chicken. No, this means uh, in Chinese, in one eye. In English, faith, hope, love. So Chinese people know right away I'm a Christian, so. Oh, are you a Christian? Kind of hard to hide. When people look at me, maybe I look radical or something, but not compared to the people in the world. I mean, you know. There's people out there that look like they ran through a spike factory. They got metal all over their face and their hair's tin colors. And so compared to them, I'm conservative. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> right. right on, man. I'm not trying to be like offensive to older people in the church and stuff. Yeah. Because I was, you know, I, I was able a couple years ago to minister to my, my grandmother's also from Nazarene Church. And, oh, that's cool. And we went and did, that out. yeah, where, where? Nazarene Take Heritage. Cool. But uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't wear my earrings. I took them out to be respectful and not to offend them and stuff. I'm trying to reach people that aren't in Christ. So I'm not trying to offend people who are, but no matter what you do, you're going to offend somebody. I mean, you know, um, usually the people that... I have the hardest time with her, just real religious people anyway. And well, Jesus had the same problem. Yeah, so that's cool. I figure that's okay. Yeah. We got one thing in common. You and you and you and I. It's good. you got to invite people to something that they can relate to. And I know for me, I'm in the church, so I'm okay with just showing up to a prayer meeting. But somebody who doesn't know the Lord, they don't want to go to a prayer meeting, and they don't really even want to sit through a regular worship service. So you've got to reach them the best means you can use, you know, and reach them where they're at. The main thing is you got to make sure that as a believer, your number one focus is your relationship with the Lord. Because if your focus just becomes a band, you're in for trouble because you're not going to have a solid foundation and you're open to just getting offended and getting tempted and backsliding. So your your main relationship has to be with the Lord because there's so much ungodliness and drugs and immorality and uh, you really got to make sure that you have accountability in your life and you're free from that stuff and you're walking in a level of maturity where you know yourself you know, because really, a worse enemy than the devil is your own flesh. So you have to be accountable and have some pastoral authority and covering for what you're doing. Otherwise, you're just kind of going out there on your own and you're asking for trouble, I think. It's dangerous. I think that's the thing, is people have to have their foundation right and their focus right. That's number one. Yeah, and then use the gifts and talents God's given you however you can. But you can't let that become the focus, you know, whether you're a motocross rider or an athlete or whatever. Yeah, it has to be God. Yeah. The one thing God. The word which says in Matthew 6, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. That's kind of my life first, I guess. Right. Always remember to keep your priority on the Lord.